the ancient Melchizedek. His word came forth with power as he spoke to me in his appearance from the sun that turned into fire. He continued, Now, O son of man, who do you think was a being known as Melchizedek? Behold, he was a divine manifestation of one of the seven spirits of the Godhead. He came to the earth as a messenger of righteousness, who prospered in the world of man. The Holy Scripture speaks of Melchizedek in Hebrews chapter 7. From the first to the fourth verse we read, For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of kings, and blessed him, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and also after that also king of Salem, which is a king of peace, without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning days nor end of life, but made like unto the Son of God, abideth the priest continually. Now consider how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of his spoils. Even Melchizedek was the spirit of the God who came to the earth then and served as priest of the Most High God. And it was he who gave blessings in those days to our father Abraham. Melchizedek came to the earth without early father and mother, earthly father and mother. And even though it was said that all have sinned, he was not only recognized as righteous man, but was also called king of righteousness, a title which belongs only to God. It is further reported in the Holy Scripture that Melchizedek had no beginning of days nor end of life, and I learnt from the Lord that verily Melchizedek was the God of Abraham. Shalom.